now that we have the pages and we have the page number according to our choices uh, let's see how we can actually insert a page number now as you can see in the page panel here uh, you can see a small a in all the pages what is a is actually this all these pages are based on a master in one document like this you can have actually more than one master now all these pages are based on a master which basically means that if I incorporate any element in a master it will be reflected in all these pages that explains the fact that if you want to insert a page number or you want to incorporate an element which you want to see in all the pages then the best thing is to actually insert that into the page which is the master page now we have one master page okay uh, you can always change it okay by going to the flyout menu and clicking on options for a master here you can actually insert a new name say for example I want to call it main page and I can change the prefix I'll go with a based on master I'll explain to you later uh, number of pages as you, as you can see the master page has two pages here I'll go with that I'll click OK and you can see the, the name will change here well as of now I have only changed the name but in this flight menu itself you can also have an option for new master if you want to base certain pages in your, of your document on a new master you can always do that okay so far I've already incorporated you know um, element inside my master page which is this line okay now this line is only present on the left page not on the right page which means that if I go to any other pages I can see this line in other pages and this line is not there on the right hand side because on the right hand side of the master page is empty you have the line only on the left hand side okay I'll press control 0 to give you a complete view I'll again zoom in and I have already incorporated a text box here I'll double click and I'm ready to insert a character inside this text box okay I'll go to type I'll go to insert special characters go to markers and I click on current page number so whatever the current page number is it will be incorporated in the text box it says a which means for a master it's a right so it's going to be a if you want to change the font size font type you can do all that here I'll talk about it in detail later but so far I'm going with century gothic with bold and pay and the size is going to be 12 I'm fine with that so if I go to page number two now you have your page number now this page number is coming from the page number if it had been a b c d or 1 or 2 or 0 0 1 or 0 0 2 it would have been seen here now since I have inserted a page number only on the left hand side do I get a page number on the right hand side I don't think so you don't have it yeah now let me show how you can incorporate an object also let me go to page again suppose you want to have a logo you want to have a logo which sits bang next to this line and you want to have this logo in all the pages all the left facing pages so I will create a placeholder for that yep and this placeholder is coming not from bleed but from the top of the document which means that I will move this below where the page actually starts sitting just exactly next to the line and I will size it up according to the line length also alright so I'll go to place and I'll go to my folders where I've arranged I'll show you briefly how I'm arranging my files as you can see my files are actually in four different folders as of now all my photographs which are not Photoshop files all your photographs in your magazine should be converted into a PSD file and saved in your Photoshop folder. Alright, I was here to pick up a logo, so I'll go to photo and I have downloaded the logo from the internet, so I'm just using that, this logo. Now this logo I want to have in all the pages. I'll click open. Yep. Now this logo is right now in a master. Okay if I go to any left page I'll see this logo also there 
Isn't it great? Now, for example, if I want to make a new master, and suppose I draw a box with grey color on 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 the this side of the page, it will show up in all the right hand side pages. Now that is how actually you incorporate common elements across the pages, and it's a very very f efficient way to way to do that.